be needing for this will be a will be yellow. Sorry, I'm doing don't have to look at that. We're getting a yellow and pink. I'm doing yellow for the inside, pink for the petal. So if you guys the it depends on how long you want it, how big your flower is gonna be. So let's get into the tutorial. You know what about it's just enough to wrap it around the end of your flower base. I'm doing a actually I'm using a um straw, but if you don't have a straw or you don't want to use a straw, again, that's up to you. I just like to use a straw for my videos, but if you don't want to do it for your video, you don't have to. I'm using a straw. You can use pencil, pen, anything that will make a circle or a good base for your flower. Here's mine. So now we're going to get on with the flower part. A piece of tape that is about 12 inches long and tear it there and I'll tell you what to do after that. Right, so then you're going to take and you're going to fold it so that it, the tape is about, so that you leave a little sticky on the top so that you can have that to stick onto your flower. So basically, I'm folding mine over a little over halfway. And then it's harder, the hardest part is to get your finger out of the tape. Well, this is the tape that I'm using. It's very sticky. Um, and just going to fold it along like that. So then you get a little bit of border sticky on there. Alright, so here's what it looks like afterwards. It looks something like this. A little bit long strip of tape with some sticky left over. Now you're going to have this, and you're going to have this. So basically, you're going to start by leaving the sticky right underneath the yellow part, like that. Okay, and, and it's okay. You can actually just, if you wanted to, to make this a little bit more pretty, round off each corner on each side of the row. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. For your pleating method, basically, so you're going to take, and you have this normal long strip of tape, and basically you're going to kind of fold it around it just to see kind of how it works. And then... Once you get to the point where you want to plead, sorry, I'm trying to do this, but it's so hard to do it in the video. And you're basically just going to push in and pull back the tape so that it can go around the circle a lot easier. So basically, like so. So there's a plead right there, that little tulip thing right there. That's the plead that we're talking about. And then you can do that so many different times. So then basically, try to get a good angle so I can see and you can see too. Um, and then you can do that again, like that, and you can tell that's two pleats, and now your flowers looks like that, okay, and then you can do that multiple times, so then keep going around to do a pleat or a ruffle, or whatever, okay, and make sure you hold the pleats or else it's not going to look good. Okay, and then you're going to keep going for a little bit. And if the pleats get in the way, like that, that can get in the way sometimes, just sort of hold it down while you're doing the next pleat or pull or ruffle or whatever you're doing. So then you're going to hold back and do a smaller pleat. Alright, and make sure you do that all the time. Whenever you're doing this, just hold it back. So make sure you get that tape under there. And to pleat, you just basically want to pleat it. And then after a while, as you can tell right now so far, it's working its way around like that. So I'm going to come back once I've finished a little bit further and show you guys a little bit more in depth. So here it is so far. And I think I found an easier way to do this basically just to show you guys. So it's not about, like I said before, you're just basically trying to go up in a circle. So basically you're going to stick and make sure that holds that down and pull back and try to go upward whenever you plead so I don't plead when you're trying to go downward like go upward whenever you plead it because that's important also and then you're going to keep doing that so basically yeah so then you're basically going to set a tape down there and then plead so do a plead so you're gonna basically going to fold and then Plead, and then I'm gonna hold down that plea with that one. So there you have all your pleads basically, like that to make your little rose, your adorable pleated rose. And then you're gonna take some green tape or pink tape, whatever tape you want, to wrap around there. You're gonna get a piece of tape and 
stick it just so that you can get all the pleats in there. So go around and stick down a pleat so that you don't have random weird things coming off it like that. And there you have your flower. So I hope you guys enjoyed how to make a duct tape pleated flower. So if you want to see more of these amazing tutorials, um, stay tuned for my channel because we'll do so many more of these things. It's so much fun. I love doing this sort of stuff with y'all. Um, so thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you see you again. Bye. Till another day. Have a rose. Mm -hmm.